Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I am going to show you how to make the perfect bobble blanket. Now I've got some of my bobble blanket done and I'm using this paint box pure wool. Now this is a super wash and you can put this in the washing machine at a wool wash at 30 degrees. It tells you on here you can do it at 30 degrees so you can actually put this in the washing machine and it's a beautiful shade of duck egg blue. It's a paint box range and I got it from Lovecraft's website. I'll put a little link in the bottom of it. And I will say that if anyone buys, if anyone uses a link and buys any of the yarn, I'll get a small amount of commission, not from you, from Lovecrafts themselves. It won't cost you any more money whatsoever. I'll get a little bit of commission. And when I add that up, then I'll be able to get some more wool. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to do this. The perfect bobble blanket look at that for perfect bobbles so i'm going to tell you how i do my perfect bobbles look at that a lot of people when they do their bobbles they'll say to me mine are flat they've gone flat what do i do they're not standing up look at this i'm going to show you that there look how proud mine are and this is the back of the blanket Look at this, and this yarn is absolutely amazing. It's really soft as well. It's lovely, and it's brilliant to work with. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you about when you do a bobble stitch is you're going to need yarn. I mean, I've used, this is a whole 100 grams, this amount. This is what we call a yarn eater. Because I'm using so many stitches to make the bobble and make it proud, you will need quite a bit of yarn so the size of blanket I've, <laughs> I'm just showing you this because I just I love it I absolutely love doing these type of blankets and I've just noticed I've never showed you one before but anyway to get this a decent size I'm going to need at least three or four hundred grams of this yarn and this is a hundred grams already so the other two will take me up to here and I'll need to go and get myself another two balls of it but you can use any yarn that you like for this. So I'm going to show you how to do the perfect bobble for your bobble blankets. And to do that, I'm going to use this colour. Look at this, it's absolutely beautiful. Now this is a paint box pure wool as well. I've got quite a few different shades, but look at this. Look at this together, isn't that absolutely beautiful? You can do your bobble blankets in strips of different colours if you want. That will help save a little bit of the yarn. So this is a paint box pure wool as well and it's really soft. And it tells you on it to use a 4.5 millimetre hook. And that's what I've got here. So what we're going to do is, the first tip with this, in the design that I've done, you need to do it in sets of four stitches because we've got one, two, three, and then a bobble. One, two, three, and then a bobble. And I've finished with three. To keep the pattern equal, and so you don't need to do a crochet edge. So you don't need to do an edge. The edge is already here. I've done so many rows here. And I've left myself three stitches here and three stitches here so that I've got a nice neat edge. I'll show you how to do the nice neat edge as well. When you do your chain, you do your chain in sets of four. And that way, when I show you how to do it, it should work out that you've got three here before you reach your bobbles. So just remember that with your chain, it sets of four. So I'm going to find the inside of my yarn. There we go. Look how easy that was. Sometimes you really struggle with this. So I'm going to put my yarn up there, out of the way, just up there. So to be quick, I'm going to do a sample and I'm going to do I'm going to do a slip knot and the way I do a slip knot 
is I just wrap the yarn around my hand like this, around my fingers, take the tail end and just tuck it under a little bit and pull it through. Take your fingers out and you're left with a slip knot. Just put your hook on and just pull it up onto your hook. Now when you do your chain, do it quite loose. If you do your chain too tight, the bottom get this out here. The bottom of your blanket will go like this. If your chain's too tight, your bottom of your blanket will be like this. It'll turn under like that and you don't want it. You want a really nice loose chain. And the way to do that is either use a one size bigger hook or make sure that when you do your stitches, do them quite slack. So I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to chain in sets of four. Let's cut down. One. Do it quite slack. Don't do it too tight. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. My chain and I've counted them in sets of four. I'm going to add one more stitch, just one more. And that is going to be our little part that will go up this way to start our stitches. I don't want to take it out of the four, so I'm adding one in. You're going to turn your chain. We're going to work, we're going to work into the second stitch in your chain. And I'm going to turn my chain this way and we're going to work into all those little lines. Can you see those little bumps? That's what we're going to work in because I want a nice neat edge along the bottom of my blanket. The way I've designed my blanket, I've got stitches up the sides and running along the bottom so I don't need to put an edge. I don't need to do a crochet edge on this blanket. It's already there. So to have a nice neat edge along the bottom of the blanket, we're turning the chain and we're working into these bumps. So I'm going to go into the second bump and we're going to do a UK double crochet. If you're in the USA, this is a single crochet into every bump, one into every bump. So into the bump, just push your hook through, put your yarn over and pull it through, yarn over and through your two loops. Into the next one, just go into the next bump, pull your yarn through, yarn over and through the two loops. That's how you do a double crochet. And if you're in the USA, this is a single crochet. And we're going to do that all the way down the chain to the end. And you should have enough stitches if you've done yours in sets of four. So I've done my row of double crochet and if you're in the USA that's a row of single crochet. What you're going to do now is you're going to do two more rows and I'm going to show you how to get that nice neat edge. You're going to chain one and turn. Now, you're not going to go over to this stitch. You're going to go straight into the bottom. When we work the edges, we will not be going... When we work up the edges, we will not be going into the top of the chain. We'll be going inside the stitch. And that keeps your edge nice and straight. So go straight down here and into this first hole here. You will not be adding a stitch. Don't think that you'll be adding a stitch. You won't be. So go into there and pull through. Now you're going, you're going to work your way all the way to the other end. You'll chain one and work one more row. So this is row one. Do another two rows. So just go into each stitch and we're going to do a double crochet all the way down, we're going to do two rows. That's three all together. 
So we've done row one, we're on row two, and we'll do another one to make it three. So I'm nearly at the end of row two. And when you get to your last stitch, you're just going to go right into the middle of the stitch. Don't go into the top of the chain. Go right in to the stitch, not the top of the chain. Go right in through there and finish your stitch. I'm going to do row three now. So chain one and turn. Go straight in to that space there. Normally you would go over to the next stitch. You would do maybe two chains. But for this blanket we're not. So that we get a nice... So you get a nice straight edge like this. Look at how straight that edge is. And this is how you get it. You do your chain one and then go straight into that first space. And that's your stitch. You can do that with any of the stitches as long as when you come back you go through the stitch. As long as you go through there and not the chain. As long as you go in there, your edge will stay nice and straight. So I'm going to finish row three. One, two, three. So I've done one, two, and this is my third row. So once I finish my third row, we'll come back and I'll show you what to do next. We're going to start the baubles on the fourth row. So it's the fourth row that we start the baubles on. Now, don't worry if your work starts to curl like this. It will straighten out once you've got more of a blanket done. Now, I'm at the last stitch. Now, normally, you would work into the top of the chain. But the way I'm showing you to keep your edge straight is we're going into the stitch, into that gap. And if you keep doing that, you'll get a nice straight edge. As long as you do this, you will not add stitches. And it keeps your edge nice and straight up the side of your blanket. I've got the light coming in my window again. So I'm going to show you my my bigger part of my blanket. So what I'm going to explain to you is to get your baubles to stand out nice and prominent, it's done over two rows. You do your bauble when you're on the back of your blanket. This is when you make your bauble. So your bauble stays to the front and it doesn't go flat. A lot of people, when they do their baubles on the front, the bauble goes into the back like that. So it's flat on the front and you can't see it. So whenever you want to do baubles, do them on the back of the blanket on your second row. The next thing I want to explain is my baubles are staggered. In between each row is one full row of double crochet. And that is how we're going to stagger them. Each bobble is done over two rows. What you'll start with is you're going to you're going to do three double crochets. If you're in the USA, that's a single crochet. You're going to do three double crochets and work a bobble. Three double crochets, work a bobble. Three double crochets, work a bobble. Your next row is just one whole row of double crochet. And if you're in the USA, that's one whole row of single crochet. Then your next, to get this bobble over here, you're going to do five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and then do your bobble. Then you will do three and a bobble, three and a bobble. So to stagger it, one row is three, your next row of baubles, it starts with five. Then you go back to three. All the ones in between have three stitches in between them. It looks like there's two, but there's not. There's three. All the rest of them on every row has three in between. But at the beginning and at the end, 
your staggered rows will be three and five. So I hope you remember that. Every time you make a bobble, you should be on the back of the blanket. So when you do your bobbles, you'll be doing them from the back so they stick out at the front. You don't do them this way so they'll end up there. If you do your bobbles on this side, if these are sticking out, and you do your bobbles going that way, they're all going to be sticking out at that side. And you don't want that. Even if you try and push them back, they'll just lay flat like that. And you don't want them flat. To get the perfect bobble stitch like this, look at this, it's beautiful. Always do your bobbles on the back. We'll make them on the back. I'll show you that. So it's just, I'll remind you as we go along, but it was just to help out. Sometimes a lot of people, when you see it, you understand it. So we've done one, two, and three rows. We're going on to row four. Row four. So we're going to chain one and turn. Now this will be the back of our blanket. Row four is the start of the back of your blanket. What you can do is you can take a pin and just stick it through a stitch. Just so that you know, just so you know this is the back. You can use a different piece, a colour of yarn. You can put a different piece, you can put a different coloured piece of yarn there to mark the back. This will always, just leave it there, that is the back of your blanket. So you know that this is when you do your baubles, when you're on a row with this facing you. This shows you this is the back. There's none there, that's the front. That's the back. We've done a chain one. So what you're going to do is you're going to do one, two, three. We're going to make three double crochets. It's a single crochet if you're in the USA. So go straight in to that first space there, that little O. And that's one. The next one, two and three. Now, get my yarn out, my wall. Now, into this next stitch. To get your bobbles nice and proud, like this, we're going to do a treble crochet. If you're in the UK, this is a treble crochet. If you're in the USA, this is a double crochet. We're going to put six <laughs> yes, I said six. We're going to put six treble crochets into this space. But every time you do one, you're going to keep it on your hook. And this is going to make beautiful, it's going to make beautiful sized baubles. And they'll stay proud out. They won't be flat in like that. They're not going to be flat. They're not going to be mini miserables. They're going to be nice, proud baubles like this. So into this fourth stitch. So we've done three double crochets. Into this one, we're going to do six treble crochets. We're going to keep one, each one on the hook. So yarn over and into the stitch. Pull your yarn through, yarn over and come through two loops. Now leave that stitch there. Yarn over and into the same stitch. Pull through, yarn over, through two loops. That has got two stitches. Just ignore that one just now. We've got two stitches. Yarn over, through two loops. That has got three. Yarn over into the same stitch, we've got four, yarn over into the same stitch, we've got five, yarn over and through there, yarn over and remember and go through your two, two stitches, 
So that's has got six. You should have seven loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Put your yarn over and come through all of those loops and chain one just to lock it all together. Now in a double crochet, not a treble crochet, we're going back to our double crochets for one, two, three stitches. So a double crochet, that's a single crochet if you're in the USA. That's one, two, and three. And there's your bauble. Look at that, it's on the right side of the blanket. This orangey peach is beautiful. That's this paint box one. And this colour is called orange peach. I wish you could actually see where it looks like. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful pastel colour. And that's you got one bauble on the right side of your blanket. So you always make your baubles on the wrong side. That's what the pin means. This is the back of your blanket. So we're going to do a bauble again. So yarn over and six treble crochets into the same stitch and keep them on your hook. So that's through two loops, that's one stitch. Two, yarn over and come through those two loops there. So that's you got three, yarn over and that same stitch. Come through two loops. That's you got four, one, two, three, four. Yarn over. That's five. And again into that same one. That's six. So you've got six stitches plus the one from your other one. Remember, don't count that as one of your stitches. Make sure you've got six. So yarn over and come through all of them. Now, if you can't come through them all at once, come through a couple and then come through a couple more and then come through a couple more. I've had some people saying I can't get my hook through all those stitches. Just do a few at a time if you can't get them all at once. So chain one. You're going to do your three double crochets. One, two, and three. The only time you'll be doing a treble crochet is to do your bobble. And the secret of these nice bobbles is six stitches and do a treble crochet. If you're making your blanket and the stitch you're using is a treble crochet, then do your puff in a double treble. Make the stitch for your puff bigger than the stitch for the other part of your blanket and your bobbles will stick out beautiful like this. So I've done my three double crochet and I'm going to do another bobble. So yarn over, we're going to do six treble crochets. I'll get some more yarn. So that's one, don't count that stitch, uh -uh. don't count that. So we've got one, Two, three, four, five, and six. Put your yarn over and come through all of those loops and chain one. That locks your bobble tight. Three double crochets next. So that's one, two, and three. Now we're going to do a puff stitch, or your bobble stitch, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, and one more is six. This is the reason it takes quite a bit of yarn, but it's beautiful, it's worth it. Come through all of those stitches and chain one, and then do your three 
double crochet one, two, and three. That's a single crochet if you're in the USA. So yarn over and do your bobble stitch. That's six treble crochets all into the one stitch. Now as you do the smaller double crochet, you'll see that it pulls your bobble down. It pulls your bobble down into there. One and two and three. So you can grab your hook and your yarn, go back to the beginning of the video and you can actually crochet along at the same time. So we've got four stitches left. When you get to the end of your row you should have four. One is for the bobble and the other three is for your side of your blanket. So yarn over and we're going to do our last bobble stitch. One two, three, four. Now what you do is when you put your yarn over, it creates a loop and you go through and pull it. So that stitch has got two loops and you yarn over and you pull through and that's what makes your stitch. So we've got that one that was there already and we've got one, two, three, four and five. We've got one more. That's six. So you should have seven loops on your hook. And again, I'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook. That's what the label tells me to use on this paint box yarn. It's beautiful, this. So remember, in chain one. So we've got three left. So we're going to do a double crochet into those three stitches. So there we go, that's you got your first row, this is the front, and that's you got your first row of bobbles done. So remember, that's your front, and the one with the pin on, the side with the pin on is your back. That's what lets you know you're on the back. So every time you get to the front, you're just doing one row of double crochet. So we're going to chain one and turn and we're going straight into that first space right down beside here go in there that's one two now your third stitch is here it's tucked itself right in beside the bubble and beside the bubble it's right there so make sure that's where you take your next stitch from. So that's stitch three. Stitch four is the top of your bobble. Now I really need to point this out. And this is a big mistake that a lot of people do. They take their stitch from the side of the bobble. You don't want to do that. That is not your stitch. Uh -uh, that is not your stitch. Your stitch that you're going to do, if you turn it, is right here on the top of your bobble. The little stitch that's holding your bobble together. So you're going to put your hook through the very top of your bobble like that through the very top not that big stitch there you can see that big long stitch it's not that uh -uh, don't go into there at all you want to keep your stitch count so into the top of the bobble and do your double crochet so you've got three in here that you need to do do not do not pick up that big long stitch you can see three small stitches, one, two, and three. Do not pick up that one. Uh -uh. Don't pick up that long stitch there. That's the side of your bobble. You're going into the one that's here. Just give it a little turn if you can't see it. A big mistake people do, they end up with too many stitches because they're picking up the stitch from the bobble. 
So it's no, it's one, two, and three. Your third one is tucked in its side there. So we're going to work our way along. That's one, two, three, into the top of the bobble where my fourth stitch is. Then one, two, and three, and into the top of the bobble. And that keeps your stitch count right for doing your next row of bobbles. So make sure that you're not going into that long stitch. Uh -uh, don't go into that long stitch. You're going into these little stitches here. One, two, three. So I'm going to do that all the way along to the end. Into the top of my bobble. And then down to that side of the bobble. One, two. And there's my third one at this side of the bobble. And into the little stitch at the very top of that one. And then down into these three. So we've got three left. One, two and three. Chain one and turn. Now we're on the back of the blanket again. Now that row that we did every second row I'll just be a row of double crochet or a row of treble crochet I'll try and put that down so you can see it and it brings your baubles right up to the front and look how look how prominent they are they're beautiful so we've done a chain one and we're going to turn now For this bobble, we did three. Now, to get them to stagger like I have here, you need to do five double crochets and then a bobble. Just on the end, you'll only be doing that five on either end of your blanket. So here we've got five here. And then at this one, every alternate row is five. Every alternative bobble row that is, because in between each bobble row, you've got one full row of double crochet, remember. So now, when we're on this side, this is the back. Once you get the hang of this, you'll sail through it, and you'll see right away when you look at the front how to stagger it. So now we're going to do right into that very first space we're going to do five double crochets that's one two three four and five now that puts us right in the middle of these two it puts you right into the middle for your next bobble and you're always doing your baubles when you're on the back of your blanket. So this is here, the pins here because it's the back of my blanket. So in this sixth stitch, so we've done five double crochets and we're going to do a bobble stitch. So yarn over and pull through, yarn over and through two loops. Keep the stitch on your hook. Yarn over and pull your yarn through. Yarn over and through. Keep that stitch on your hook. That's two, three, four, five, and six. Remember and do six. A lot of patterns and a lot of YouTubers do five, but I found to get the perfect bobble, do six and then chain one. So now we're going to do three double crochets. One, two, three. 
Now remember, you only do the five at the end. And look at that, it's smack right in the middle where it should be. So we've done our three double crochets and now we're going to do our bobble stitch. That's one, two, three, four, five, oops, five, and six. Yarn over and come through all of those loops. Chain one, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And then a bobble stitch, a bobble. One, two, three, four, five and six and through all of those and chain one now we're just going to do a double crochet on the last five stitches that's one two three four and your last one, go into the middle of the stitch. Don't do the chain, go into the middle of the stitch. And that keeps your edge nice and straight. Look how nice and straight that edge is. So chain one and turn. So we're on the front and the front row is always one row of double crochet. So go straight into that first stitch in here. So keep your edge all nice and straight and one double crochet if you're in the UK. If you're in the USA, this is a single crochet all the way to the end. Now go into the top of your bobble and then the stitch at the side. Not that long stitch, remember. And every now and then count your stitches. So I'm going to work my way along with my double crochets. One, we're doing three in between a bobble and picking that little stitch up on the top of the bobble all the way along. Chain one and turning around to the back of the blanket again. So we're on a bobble row. So once I get this blanket up as big as I want it, I'll just finish it with three rows of double crochet and I won't need to do an edge because the edge is already there. If you want to do more on your edge, you can. It's up to you. You just need to add extra stitches at either side. You can do more rows here if you want at the beginning. It's up to you. But to get these lovely, perfect baubles, do your baubles on the wrong side of the blanket and then do one row of double crochet in between each row of baubles or your baubles, your baubles and stagger in it. Just remember three stitches on your first row and then it's three in between each one and then to begin the row of your next set to get it in here, it's five. And then you're just doing your three in between as normal, like that. And if you've got any questions, you can leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer it. But to get perfect baubles like mine, it's six treble crochets to make that bobble and do it when you're on the reverse of your blanket. So here we are again. I'm going on to row three of the baubles. So I'm going on to this row. So we'll have three double crochets and then a bobble, three double crochets, then a bobble, three double crochets, then a bobble. So what I need to get on to the back, I've done my chain one. So we're going to turn to the back 
of the blanket and you can clearly see now this is your front and this is the back and that's why the pins there I'm going to do three double crochets I'm going to go into here first and if you're in the USA this is a single crochet and your bobbles are done with a double crochet six double crochets so I've done one there two and three so now I'll do my bobble stitch one two three four five and six yarn over and pull through all of those stitches and chain one to lock it then do three double crochets one two and three see that's staggering your bobbles so just remember on your bobble rows your first row you start with three double crochets and when you're doing your second row of bobbles you're doing five then you go back to three and your next one to get it in here it will be five and that will keep it all staggered like this one so don't worry if your blanket's kind of curling it will straighten itself out as it gets bigger it's the bobbles that are pulling it under. Look at that blue. It's beautiful. So don't worry about it curling under. It will straighten itself out. And that is how your bobble blanket goes. And look at that. Perfect, perfect bobbles. So give this a try. And if you're looking for this paint box... And if you're looking for this paint box brand of yarn, I got it from Lovecraft's website and i'll put a link down in the description for it and this remember is pure wool now and also remember to do a blanket with this bobble stitch it does use more yarn this size of blanket is 60 stitches i've got 60 stitches on here and to do a pram size uh, I do know that I'm going to need another two balls of this. So I'm, this is one ball and I've just started this next ball. So I do know that for a decent size pram blanket, I'm going to need 400 grams to do this blanket. I could just do it in this, it matches with that. I could do it in stripes. To save yarn, you can do it in stripes. It's up to you. You can use Red Heart Yarn on the Lovecrafts website. 100 grams of the soft baby steps is only $1.99. Makes the blanket much, much cheaper as well. But get about 400 grams to do a decent size pram blanket. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your patience and me showing you how to do this. Put a link underneath the video for the Lovecrafts website. Got lots of brands of yarn and they've always got a discount of some kind. And the clearance is brilliant. They've got up to 75% sometimes off all their clearance yarn. So anyway, thank you for your patience in me showing you how to do this bobble. It did take a little bit more explaining, especially how to stagger these bobble stitches. And as you can see, it really is. It's beautiful. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please click on that subscribe button. And also, if you click on the bell icon, then YouTube will notify you when I put up another tutorial. And if you join, there is a join button down there. If you join my channel, then you're one of the ones that will get notified first from YouTube that I've posted up another tutorial and you'll get it to see it before everyone else. <laughs> so thank you again. Until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.